Akindele. It's a name that, that many people are glad to see on the lineup for Canada. Come hell or high water, he's now cap tied to Canada. Tybert. Wanted a free kick, nothing given. And Piet nicely there with the tackle. Tybert wanted a free kick, asking for a bit of an explanation. He thought he was pulled back, but he didn't get the free kick as another Dominica player is down injured. There were two down in the first half. Crowds filled out pretty well here at Windsor Park. Pretty sparse at the beginning, but uh, pretty much all the areas have fans in them now. Nicely attended, couple thousand here, I'd say. When Dominica moves forward, you'll be able to hear them at full voice. Very impressive tonight. It's Brielle Thomas, who's off, walking off under his own steam. It looks like he'll be okay to continue, but but we'll see. Temporarily for the now, Dominique is down to 10 men. Lawrence with the throw. James back to Borian. Bit dangerously now, Piet in a bit of trouble, but he gets it away to Straith. Straith forward. Akindele goes out of bounds for a Canadian throw. Took a deflection on the way out. We met. Saw a lot of the ball in the first half. Good first half from him. Akindele back on the left-hand side. He and Ricketts switched wings on a couple of occasions. Ledgerwood. Ricketts. Crossed into the middle. Looks like Laren. Did he get a touch to it? Laren thought it was a Dominica player who did, but a goal kick is given. Another early warning from Canada. There's the slightest touch towards goal. That's 2-0. Laren appealed for a corner, but it wasn't given. And Prince will take a goal kick. Ledgerwood gets two cracks at it. Now Piet in possession. Goes up to Akindele. De Guzman. We met. Akindele into the middle. Tybert goes back outside to De Guzman. De Guzman with some room. The good ball up to We met, but it's flagged for offside. Five, just about five and a half minutes gone here in the second half. Canada still leading 1-0. Kyle Laren's early goal, the difference, is second for Canada. As Dominique is now called for offside. Bit of a stop start to the second half here. Not much flow either way. Dominica again happy to, to sit numbers behind the ball, but Ledgerwood gives it away, slipped on the field. Lockhart, but Piet does oh so well in that defensive midfield role to get back and win possession back for Canada. James now just gives it back to Borian. Straith. Akindele tried to flick it and turn. Didn't come off. It's Dominica back the other way. Here's through the middle. It's a chance for Pelche, still with the ball. And Canada, some nervy times there. It looked like there was a bit of miscommunication as they go over the top. Pelche was on the end of it. Straith did well to get back. Uh, 
it's always an amazing thought where there's a country of 70,000 and there are a few thousand here tonight, so it's a, a good percentage of the island in attendance. Such is the life in CONCACAF, such a diverse region of the world. And you get these interesting experiences. It's Dominica again with the ball. Benito Floro's not afraid to, to raise the voice when needed, but he's, he's sitting quietly on the bench right now. As the long throw comes in, flicked on and out of bounds. We met Straith. We met. Tries to go long. It's over top of Laren and the defender, but Laren's not going to get to that one. But he knocked back to Prince in a bit of trouble. Gives the ball away. Akindele into the area. Has to go, and it's saved by Prince. Prince responsible for the giveaway. Makes up for it by getting down well to stop Tasho Akindele's low hard shot. We met once again, heads out. We met formerly the Montreal Impact FC, now with the New York Red Bulls. Carved himself a, a starting position in the last couple games for them. And doing well today as well. Once again, Piet with a nice tackle. Canada back in possession. Piet's done it, had a few of those today. Just getting stuck in, winning the ball, and winning possession as well. We met Akindele. Canada switches it up. Ledgerwood towards Ricketts, but the flag is up and he's offside. The free kick is absolutely wasted. He goes all the way to Borean. You hear a bit of a, a groan from the home support. They wanted their, their player to do better with that. Canada will take that and let's see if they can punish Dominica on the, on the attack now. Akindele. To Laren. Fights off a few defenders. Nice ball to Ricketts on the near side. A lot of numbers back for Dominica. Ledgerwood with the cross. Headed straight up into the air. Played not quite done yet. Ricketts almost undercut a little bit. But now Dominica gets it a little bit further out. De Guzman with the touch. Flicks it back into the area. And towards Laren. And it's just wide, but the flag was up. May have been Ricketts, may have been Laren. Late flag. It wasn't until Laren got the ball that the flag went up, so it made, leads me to believe that maybe it was Laren who was offside. Canada still looking for that second goal. They've had plenty of possession. They're getting some shots in. But scoring is kind of a big part of the game. And you might deserve to win a game, but if you can't score, you're not going to win. But Canada is, of course, up a goal here. And there's a free kick on the play. Ricketts called for the foul. And that will give a free kick to Dominica. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following our live stream. Very much appreciated as the, the road to Russia gets underway. Big long journeys always have humble beginnings and such is the case in CONCACAF qualifying. Good build up play from Canada. Laren under pressure, taken down, no foul. Canada still with the ball. Straith. We met. Good run up the left side. But then gives the ball away. And it's out for a Canadian throw.
We met crossed back. Tybert tries it on the first time but misses. Akindele looks back to Ledgerwood. Ledgerwood has a go from range, twice blocked. And Dominica comes back the other way. Great speed through the middle. Pelche on James. James back and snuffs out that attack. Down goes Pelche, no foul. As James goes back to Borian. Tricky moments now. But Canada responds well, calmly, coolly. And they go back the other way. James did well with Pelche coming on to him there. Pelche with a good turn of space, but James returning to his country of his birth does well there. And it's we met. Akindele, the flag's up for offside and it's given. 13 minutes gone here in the second half. Laren's early goal still the difference. Canada with almost, I wouldn't say overwhelming possession, but they've had quite a bit of it. But just the one goal so far. Prince has done very well for Dominica. Dominica building an attack here. They've got some space. They try to slide it through to Peltier again. James gets the boot in the way. You missed it, but you heard me say it. James deflected the ball and then won possession and knocked it back to Borian. And now it's to Guzman. Number of players warming up on the sidelines for Canada. There are four over there. Straith. Ricketts. De Guzman. Back to We Met. He's been racing up and down that left side today. Tries to force it into the middle, but it's bl blocked away. And Canada will have to reset now. Near the midfield line, Ledgerwood. Tybert, Ledgerwood. Nice one, two. There's Ricketts on the wing now. Down near the corner flag. Gets it back to Ledgerwood with space. In towards Tybert. Tybert has a go from range. And it misses wide. it back in. Tiber with a shot in the back once again not getting the call. It's Dominica now with a bit of possession. Egbert Walsh the right back tries to go forward but it's right out of bounds for a Canadian throw. De Guzman. Laren's the only one in long sleeves tonight, I think. Ball goes over the top to him. I'll explain in a moment. Looks like the flag is up for a goal kick or, or offside. Not quite sure what's given. It's a goal kick. Now, Laren wears the long sleeves. It's a, a bit of superstition. He's been scoring goals in Orlando, and the key, he says, is wearing long sleeves. So he's got a goal tonight for Canada. Who's to argue with, with the fates? not as hot as it was during the day as I mentioned it is humid though it's it kind of feels like it's pushing you down a little bit so undoubtedly the Canadian players are starting to feel it now there's Laren nice touch Tybert tries to slide it through to Ricketts but it's right at Prince bit of pressure here now Dominica does well to get the ball away. Elizy into the middle. Tries to go over the top. That's not going to trouble Straith very much, and he heads it to Tybert. Canada, chance to quickly counter here. Akindele. 
A nice tackle. And Canada resets once again. De Guzman to Akindele. Laren under some pressure, gets away from one. Turns on some space, gets away on speed, gets away from two. Gets away from three, down he goes, penalty given. <laughs> Kyle Laren with a nice run on the left-hand side. Puts the ball around the defender. Who slid in late. And Laren goes tumbling. And Canada has a chance to double their lead. Of course, without the benefit of the replay, we can't have a look at it, so. No argument from anyone, really, it seems there. Just the late, late sliding tackle. Laren had it right in front of him and didn't look like he had much room to run into, so he tumbled right over. Actually, it's going to be Tybert over the top of the ball now. Vancouver Whitecaps FC player. Hope you're tuning in in Vancouver to watch one of your boys with a chance at a penalty. Tybert. 2-0. Prince not happy at himself. He got a hand to it. But Tybert doubles Canada's advantage. And that's his first goal for Canada. Russell Tybert from the spot gives Canada a 2-0 lead. Tybert's 13th game and it's his first senior goal for Canada. Bit more comfortable now. Back underway, Canada leads 2-0. Deservedly so, given the amount of possession they've had. But back comes Dominica looking for a quick goal on the counter. Canada's gonna have to be sharp here. Canada's numbers back well to slow down the attack. Ball over the top, Canadian throw in. Now's a chance with, with two goals to the good. Canada's going to want to seal this one. If they can get another one, go back to Toronto. Nice and comfortable with a three-goal cushion, three away goals. Some nice home fans that we're expecting to see out at BMO Field on the 16th. Up the sidelines, Akindele. Goes over towards Ricketts. Flags down. Flag stays down, Ledgerwood. Sorry, that was Tybert, now back to Ledgerwood. Piet. De Guzman. Laren. <laughs> Beating a number of defenders, takes a go, but it's high and misses the goal. Twenty-one and a half minutes gone in the second half. Canada now leading 2-0. A couple of the subs are taking their pennies off for Canada. Substitutions may be imminent here. As Canada's looking for a third, Ricketts. Piet, Ledgerwood goes up the line, stays in. Nice ball from Ledgerwood and Ricketts in space, turning on the Jets. Ricketts crossed in and wins a corner kick for Canada.
Tybert coming over to take this one as well. Pretty much a packed house here now. Now that everybody's in, you can see the stands are quite full. And very supportive of, of the home side as Tybert takes the corner, tries to go near post, but it's put out for another corner kick. Not sure if that's what he was going for, but it wins another corner. Number of players in the area for Canada. And he goes short this time. Laren lays it back to Tybert, crossed in. On the end of it, it's off the post and out. Goes by everybody. Couple Canadians looked like they were gonna head it but then pulled out and nobody made up their minds from both sides and it's off the post. Tybert very nearly with a second. Would have been somewhat fortuitous for him. Not at all planned, I'm sure. Straith. Akindele. Laren. He's had the beating of a number of defenders tonight. This time he just lays it back to We Met. Calmly. Calmly finds his pass to Laren. Who goes to De Guzman. De Guzman's going to start the switch from the looks of things. Piet to De Guzman, and De Guzman's going to knock it around to James. Ledgerwood. Back to James. Bit of a nervy moment there, but he comes away with it. Straith. We met. Laren. We met's on the overlap. Laren's in space now. Laren cuts into the area. Can he get the ball back? He does, but it wins a corner off the Dominican player's boot. Looks like a Canadian substitution is just about ready to come in. Looks like Canada will take the corner kick first. Not sure what the disagreement is over at the corner, but it's delayed the Canadian corner kick. One of the Dominican players was holding onto the ball for some reason. No arguing that that was a corner for Canada, so not sure what the argument was there. Looks like it's Maxime Tissot who's about ready to come in. As Tybert, low corner. Laren goes back to Tybert. Lofts in across to Guzman and a fine save by Prince. Julian de Guzman in all kinds of room. Heads it. Prince knew where it was going though. Dives across to make the save. But it's another corner kick coming to Canada. And once again, Tybert's going to take. Tissot is going to have to wait a few more minutes to come in. Looks like it's going to be Akindele who comes off. Tybert, this time goes high. Back post to De Guzman, tries to flick it on, and Prince is there to claim. But Canada right back in possession. Ricketts now. Still in possession. Goes back to Ledgerwood. De Guzman. Guzman tries a low cross, but it's given away. And here's Julian Wade. Neither side seems to want to hold on to the ball here for very long at the moment. But now Canada settles things down and are back on the offensive. Tybert finds We Met on the overlap. Now he finds Akindele, who made a corner flag run. Akindele back to We Met. We met towards Laren, but it's out for a goal kick. Still not giving the substitute yet. Referee just indicated, 
hold up for a second. And now it looks like it's going to be made. Debut for Tesho Akindele comes to an end here in the 74th minute. And he's replaced by Maxim Tissot. The Montreal Impact. Tissot scored just before coming into camp for Montreal. Just over 15 minutes left as Canada leads 2-0. Ledgerwood over the top to Ricketts. It's nice holding up by Hubert Prince to let the ball out, go out for a goal kick. Another substitution coming in here. And it's Sydney Lockhart replaced by number 14, Niall Lee. That's in the 75th minute. As the changes start to take shape here. Laren back on the ball. It's been influential tonight in the attack with the goal. Wins the penalty for the second goal. Ricketts leaves it for Tissot. And now Piet. De Guzman. And he just knocks it back to James. Three players on the field now out of Quebec. Good mix of French as uh, when the team goes on rides to places. Around the camp, Tissot. Laren. Knocks it back to Guzman. Tybert. On the overlap, there's Ricketts. Dominica back in numbers. Tybert over the top, into the middle, headed out. Straith tried to get to it, but he was just beaten to it. Fans groan a little bit. Finally, they get it clear. Peltier goes long. But Canada back in control. Still quite comfortable in defense. Canada has not really been troubled so far. There have been a few moments, but they've been calm. They've been organized. They've been, they've been following the plan well enough. As Piet now brings the ball forward, but he gives it right back. And then wins a free kick. Samuel Piet works hard after giving the ball away. Enters into a foot race with a player and then has an arm up in his face. Down he goes, wins a free kick. Good recovery from Piet. Straith. Ricketts gets around one, gets around two. Can't get around the third and it's back. Whoops, and there's a slip though, but a recovery from Prince and he gets a hold of the ball. Wade. Good bit of skill to get himself around a defender. Tries to get flicked back to Wade, but James was right there, and that ball's never going to get through. Laren, Tybert. Canada trying to quickly counter, but they're not able to do it there. There's a ball through the middle to Pelche. Borian's there. So some 
Some little mistakes being made now. As fatigue maybe sets in a little bit, it is still muggy. It's, when I say it's not as hot as it was during the middle of the day, it's still warm. We're still in the Caribbean. But Canada still holding out. Another substitution being made here for Canada. It's Kyle Laren. His day comes to an end here. In the 78th minute, he's replaced by Randy Edwinibansu, Stuttgarter kickers. German third division. I know they use Edwini Bonsu as a winger, so that might bring a change, and that's what happens as Ricketts goes back to the top of the 4 1 4 1. Edwini Bonsu slots on the right wing, and Tissot is on the left. And that's a fine how do you do to that game as Edwini Bonsu gets dispossessed by a pretty thundering tackle there, but it's still a Canadian throw. Edwini Bonsu and Ricketts both have an abundance of pace. We'll see what uh, Edwini Bonsu can get up to on the right side of that uh, midfield. But Canada is going to the left with Straith. Tybert. We met Tybert. Plays it off. Bertrand for a Canadian throw. And now back again over to this side, to Ledgerwood. As they've been doing all day, going back and forth to probe for an opening as De Guzman gives the ball away. And there's a handball outside of the area. Milan Borjan. There really is only one recourse for this. And there it is, a red card. Instinct on that one. De Guzman gives the ball away. Peltier was through, outside the area. Borian threw his hands up in the air. And it's shades of Lars Hirschfeld in Cuba in a World Cup qualifier back in 2012. Similar situation, out of the area, more instinct than anything. Throws his hands in the air. And there really is only one option, and Canada's going to have to find a, so a solution here. Just over 10 minutes remaining. And I'm doing some quick math. Canada's used up all their subs, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, they've used two. My mistake. And it's Kenny Stamatopoulos hurrying off the bench. Now things get a little bit more complicated. As Dominica now sends an opening. Eighty-second minute substitution here for Dominica as Chad Bertrand calls it a day. Looks like that's number 20, Anferny Frederick, who's checked into the game. Now Canada's substitution, that's Tybert, who's been forced to give way. It was a good afternoon, good evening for Tybert, with a goal influential on a lot of the buildup. But with Borian off, Kenny Stamatopoulos comes in. Veteran goalkeeper, plays with AIK in Sweden. I'm sure he wasn't expecting this. The free kick in a good spot for Dominica. Just under 10 minutes to go. And it's going to be an interesting final 10 minutes. Two Dominica players over the ball. Pelche and Frederick, the newcomer. Actually, there's a third as well, so there are three there. 
This would be a big moment here. It would be game on again, really, if, if Dominica can get one. Frederick and Peltier, two of the men over the ball. Drama here in Rosso. And it's Peltier, and it curls well high. And all that drama comes for naught. First kick of the game for Stamatopoulos, and he gives it to Straith. Now let's see what Canada can do if they will maintain a lot of the possession. Down a man. We'll see how the tactics change, what changes for Canada. Will they still go for a third? Are they happy consolidating a 2-0 lead? Let's see what happens now. De Guzman. And they go long. Ricketts gets a boot on the end of it. Nice touch, nice control. But he comes into a green wall there as a number of Dominica players are back. De Guzman. Tiso. We met. Looks like Canada's happy just playing possession here, but Tiso goes over the top. Can we met get to it? Dominica player gets to it first, but it's out for a Canadian throw. Deep in Dominica's half. So every substitution has been made here. These will be the 11 against 10 that, that see this game out. It's another Canadian throw. Taken quickly. Tissot near the corner flag. Dispossessed. Frederick puts it off him and now wins Dominica a throw. Guzman intercepts the throw in, read that play well. Tiso to Ricketts. Piet, we met. As Canada hangs on to the ball again. But Straith goes long to Tiso on the left. We met. Ricketts flicked on. Edwini Bonsu tries to lay it back for Wimet, who's all the way forward. But that one's cleared as well. Inside the last five. As Dominica comes forward, you can hear the crowd swell in noise as they come forward. Ledgerwood with a fine sliding effort to put that ball out for a Dominica throw. Lawrence with the throw to Hubert Prince. Joseph. Goes long. Ledgerwood gets undercut on the play. No foul given. Dangerous, dangerous play as Ledgerwood dropped. And he's clearly winded. Looks like it's going to be another few moments. It might also take a little longer than you need with the final few minutes of the game and you're, you're down a man. But Ledgerwood took quite a tumble there. Man came below, almost took his legs out from under him, and Ledgerwood, who was mid-hop, mid-jump, landed on his side, and he'll feel that one. He's up, though. Shares a word with the referee, and he'll have to go off for a moment or two. Adam Straith and Russell Tybert, the goals. Two players in Major League Soccer have Canada in front. 
And apart from uh, an incident late here, Canada not terribly troubled. As Dominica, well, sportingly gives the ball back on a drop ball, but it's a throw in deep in Canada's half. And Ledgerwood gets waved back on for Canada. We met comes all the way over to take it. Gets a, a polite hurry up, please. We met to James. James under pressure. Still with the ball. Looks like a free kick was given. Not sure if that was much of a foul, but James had the ball anyway. And Canada has a free kick. Stamatopoulos will take it. Maybe getting warned not to take his time, although any discussion the two have is taking a bit of time. So but Stamatopoulos does quickly take it after the referee leaves the vicinity. Canada looking like the, they'll just hold this out with a two-goal cushion, or hope to do that anyway. But Edwini Bonsu with some nice pressure almost, almost wins it. And Dominica looks to come back the other way. Tiso. De Guzman. And it's out of play, and it's a Canadian throw. Looking like... Looks like I got a quick look at the board and a minimum of four minutes could be added. Now it's just switched to five, so I'll hold my breath until I actually see it. Tissot crosses, deflected, Canadian corner. Good moment now. Can Canada get a third, down a man? Going back home with a three goal cushion with three away goals. Would sound pretty good. It'll be De Guzman to take. Edwini Bonsu's coming over. They do play it short. Edwini Bonsu goes back to Piet. And Piet switches to Ledgerwood. He goes outside. Tiso. Onto his left foot. Curls it from range. Fine save by Prince. That had eyes for the goal. Wonderfully struck by Tiso. And Prince, definitely the hero of the night, and that really just confirmed things. So that was a very well struck, curled, dipped. That looked like it had eyes for the corner. Nicely tipped away to Guzman, to Tiso on the corner. De Guzman, he tries a low cross with his left foot. Swinging wildly, and it's a throw. And in fact, there will be five minutes of added time there was a bit of a delay when, when Borean was going off. But five minutes. The home crowd will be heartened by that, that they can get a goal. Nice flick from Ledgerwood to Edwini Bonsu. Has to be taken out for another Canadian corner. Canada with some good pressure late. Both the goal scorers are off for Canada. It looks like this time it'll be Tiso jaunting over to take this free kick as we are into added time here in the second half. And he goes short, Edwini Bonsu. Tries to put it through the defender and it's back the other way, but once again, Canada back well to gain control, Straith. He goes over the top. Edwini Bonsu does have pace. That's just beyond his reach. Here's Frederick. It's a hard first touch, but Dominica still with the ball. The near side, Lawrence. And there's James. Called for a shove. And once again, another free kick in a, in a dangerous area for Dominica. See what kind of set piece they can set up here. 
say about 40 yards away from goal. Frederick over top of it, as is Lawrence. Two-man wall for Canada, Edwini Bonsu and De Guzman. Stamatopoulos barking some commands from the goal. And it's Frederick, and it's headed clear. But not all the way out. Piet in well, though, there. And now off to the races is Ricketts. He's got three men on his back. Off to slow, slow things down. Get it back to Straith. Ricketts. Straith. And he'll switch it to Ledgerwood. Piet. We met. By my count, about three minutes of the time added has been played. As, as Piet gets hold ba pulled back, it should have been a yellow card. Piet could have also been called for something there. It just gives him a shove. But it was rather cynical to just grab and hold on to Piet's jersey. Piet wasn't happen, happy about that. Gave a bit of a shove. In the end, just the free kick is given. No supplemental discipline. Let's see what Straith does with the free kick near the halfway line. As the seconds tick down here, Canada looking, out to, see, looking to see out a comfortable 2-0 win here in Rosso. Comfortable, albeit down a man for the last 15 minutes or so. Tiso said quite the cameo coming in late. But now here's Ricketts in some space. Goes outside at Winnie Bonsu. What's he going to do? Will he go to the corner? Will he go for goal? And in the end, he has the ball taken away. But De Guzman with a fine tackle. De Guzman with tons of room crossed in. And it just can't quite get to Ricketts as once again, Dominica back in numbers. And now Dominica threatening on the counter here. Lee. Wade. Frederick. Wade. Frederick outside. In on goal. Fine tackle by James to stop that attack. And Ledgerwood gets it to Edwini Bonsu. And surely a free kick's given there. In fact, it is. James has done well. Some nice passing to open up space there, but James got back well once again. And with that, it's full time. Goals from Kyle Laren in the first half. Russell Tybert from the spot in the second half. Some nervy moments at times. Canada confident through that though. We go back to Toronto. Canada up 1-0 after the first leg. Hope to see you in the return leg at BMO Field in Toronto on the 16th. That's it for now. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. My name is Gavin Day, and I'll talk to you soon.